Varsity Girls State Tournament is being held here in Columbus, Georgia. And on Wednesday, our Lady Jella Jacka staged a dramatic come from behind win over Second Year High School in out of Buford, Georgia. Down 4 0, headed to the sixth inning. Kate and Miles hit a two run home run over the left field fence to cut the deficit to 4 2. In the top of the seventh inning, Dakota Crow hit a three run home run to dead center to give Wayne County a 5 4 lead. Freshman Ellie Harrison hit a solo blast to center to give Wayne County a 6 4 lead. And Wayne County would add an additional run in the top of the seventh to make it a 7 4 lead. That lead would hold up as Addie Tyre picked up the win in the circle, went to distance. Wayne County with the win over second year now moves to the winner's bracket game at 3 o'clock this afternoon. And will play North Oconee. North Oconee defeated Perry by a score of 11 to 1. They have a catcher who has signed to play next year with the University of Oklahoma. A pretty good team. Again, that's the winner's bracket game today at 3 p.m. The other winner's bracket game is Heritage Catusa against Whitewater. The two winners play on Friday. In the winner's bracket, the loser of today's games go to the loser's bracket. Once again, it's a one-game only day-to-day on Friday or on Thursday. Again, Wayne County's game, 3 o'clock. Wayne County... Take it on North Oconee. Our pregame will start at 2.50 in the first pitch at 3 o'clock today. Wayne County, North Oconee here from Columbus, Georgia. Friday night football, the Wayne County Yellow Jackets host Southeast Bullock at J.C. Stadium. Kickoff set for 7.30 in Southeast Bullock and Wayne County, both fighting for playoff spots. Here's Coach Shaw's comments about Southeast Bullock football team. You know, Southeast Bullock, they, uh, they create their own unique challenges. You know, they're a they're an option to whisper on offense. Um, you know, they uh, they switched offenses uh, after last year, and then they went to the option this year. And um, they they like to grind out games. Um, they're going to snap the football inside of ten seconds on the play clock every snap. Um, and it's they're going to try and bore you to death. I mean, I told our team on Monday, listen, I played in this offense for four years, and I beat a lot of people uh, doing it. Um, so being able to, uh, you know, just, it's all about discipline. It's all about, you know, playing with great eyes, you know, taking, if you're supposed to take the dive, you got to take the dive. If you're the quarterback player, you got to take the quarterback player and making sure, you know, we don't get quote unquote bored, um, seeing it looks like the same play over and over and over, but it's certainly very different. Um, so you know, we've had to really do a good job with our, our look teams, our Devo teams, of giving a, giving the varsity guys a, a good look and what it's supposed to, to look like. And, uh, you know, we've got to execute. we got to get off the field. I think a huge point in the ballgame for our defense will be first down. we got to win first down. Don't let them get in that second five and third and three because they're going to go forward every fourth down if it's inside of four yards probably. Um, that's, that's what they've shown. They've... They've created some problems in the special teams as far as, uh, you know, they, they've got a, a good punter, a uh, good kicker. They've hit some surprise onside kicks. They've faked a punt against BC, um, like backed up on inside their 20 or inside their 15. Uh, so they're, you know, they're a team that takes some chances, and we've certainly got to be really disciplined with our eyes and play with great technique and, uh, and be on point. And, you know, defensively, you know, they're a four-man front. Uh, I think their defensive line plays extremely hard. They're, they're big. Uh, they're bigger guys. Um, and they've, they've played, uh, they've been multiple on the back end. Uh, and they've, they've certainly played really well at times throughout the season. Uh, I think they play very good complementary football. Uh, they don't let you, you know, uh, I think they do a good job of knowing their personnel. They just don't let people run go balls by them or run deep posts by them. You know, they try and keep everything in front of them and uh, wait for the offense to make a mistake. So, you know, especially in a game like this where you don't know how much you'll touch it on offense just because of what they do and eat the clock and run the football and snap it inside of 10 seconds. So we've got to be really efficient. We can't have the pre-snap penalties and, and do all of that stuff. So we've got a great challenge ahead. i got a lot of respect for Coach Zito and his program. And uh, we just need to focus on us and go play our best football and be ready to go. And once again, those comments, Coach J. Bo Shaw, you can hear all his comments on the Wayne County Coaches Show tomorrow night at 6.30. That leads into our pregame show at 7 and the kickoff tomorrow night at 7.30. Again, it's Wayne County and Southeast Bullock. After the weekend, Wayne County have a better idea of knowing where they're seated in two, three, and four slots in that state tournament again. 
Wayne County has the next Friday off, and then the state playoffs begin the following Friday. You know, Wayne County hope to be in those state playoffs. Need to punch their ticket this Friday night against Southeast Bullock. It is senior night. 24 seniors on that high school football team will be recognized along with their parents, along with the high school band students and cheerleaders and majorettes and flag corps and ROTC also being recognized before the game. Antonio Warbay, individual state champion in quad A golf last year, will receive his state championship ring. That ceremony again taking place Friday night in the pregame ceremony at JC Stadium. Georgia Southern football this afternoon. Georgia Southern taking on Georgia State. Georgia State six and one. Georgia Southern five and two. Should be a heck of a ball game this afternoon in Statesburg. We'll have that game for you here on Big Dog Country FM 105.5 FM. Once again, we're live in Columbus again. Wayne County in the winners bracket. Wayne County taking on North Oconee this afternoon at 3 p.m. Again, our pregame this afternoon will begin at 2.50 from Columbus, Georgia. That's going to do it for Ladies and Local Sports. Bob Morgan saying have a great day.